got into a car accident with Bryson in the car. He's actually been rolling. We ended up putting an offer on that house. Is this normal? Am I normal? Mommy loves you. Yes, I do. I've decided to quit. struggling I think a lot of people struggle and they just don't really talk about it too much with just the transition to motherhood it's such a unique process for everyone but there's so much sacrifice that is involved with it like it's the best time of your life but it's also oddly and weirdly like a re birth of yourself not even of yourself of just a completely different version of yourself one week i'm doing great and i feel so good and then the next week i'm just like bawling my ass out it's just it's been a lot on another note i found this huda beauty foundation stick foundation sticks are like where it's at so fast and not messy it glides on your skin yeah i just have been having a hard time with finding myself with work again so because i do what i do i don't have maternity leave that's not something that i'm given if i want to take leave i have to like completely take off and not get paid for it it's just a unique situation i think for me because i was in the nicu for three months and i was in the hospital on bed rest for so long so like i've already taken off so i feel like I need to come back with a bang and you know i have all these sponsorships lined up and i have been pushing off because I was in the hospital so it's been this weird transition to getting back to my channel and it's like a totally different me i'm here the majority of the days with bryson and it's hard to get anything done with him let alone get inspiring content like i could film but it would just be very like repetitive content and i'm literally just doing nothing that i feel like is worth sharing or exploring i'm just kind of learning like what i need to do with my channel it's been a lot of pressure i don't know i've just been i've been struggling i feel like i'm like learning who this new version of myself is i'm trying to create you know good content at the same time and on top of that we actually got into a car accident with bryson in the car everyone's okay um it was a fender bender but the guy was going kind of fast and i saw him come and i feel like that just totally fucked me up for the week. It was terrifying as a mother to see that, especially after everything we've just been through with this poor child. You know, what's another thing? It's just, it's just another thing. I don't know. I know. I'm sitting there bawling my eyes out and the guy comes up to us and is like, oh my God, I heard the baby. I, I, I freaked out. Is, he, is everyone okay? Bryson literally just starts laughing, like giggling, laughing at this kid. And I'm like, Bryson, this is not funny. The paramedics ended up checking him out. Everything was fine. He was totally okay. But I'm just at that point right now where I'm like, oh my God, I just, I needed to catch a break. Mentally, I was like this. And it's just hard to transition to motherhood i don't think a lot of people talk about that but it's a lot literally every single part of you changes you're you're dealing with your body changes your career identity your social life it's all so rewarding like i'm not complaining at all it's just a transition i feel like part of my stress comes from not working you know like it's a huge part of me it's also a huge like community for me it is my community on top of that i'm trying to go to the gym and be healthy and be the best version of myself that I can be for Bryson, but obviously he comes first. And so it's just been this really weird, really, really weird transition. I'm just kind of experimenting with different content as well, which is kind of confusing to you guys. And it's just like the lack of consistency on my end is driving me nuts. So I'm sure it's probably driving you guys a little bit crazy. Bryson's looking at the camera tripod. What is that, Bobby? What is that, my stinker? Isn't he getting so big? When he's in the NICU, everyone's like, grow, grow, grow. And now that he's like a normal baby and he's growing so fast, I'm like, slow down. So I just got these new leggings. They look kind of weird with my Uggs on. But they're the flare leggings. Everyone and their mother has these. But these ones specifically are from Aerie. They're so soft. They're super cute. I'm trying to show you guys the flare. 
There we go. I love them. He's actually been rolling. Sometimes he's up for it, sometimes he's not. But let's see if he'll show you guys. You want to show them how you roll over, puppy? Wee! Hands to middle. Can you show them how you roll over? <laughs> That's a lazy tummy time. Come on. Okay, he's clearly not in the So today's video is sponsored by AG1. I know you guys have heard of AG1 before. One of my favorite brands, if not my favorite brand deal I've ever done in my life. AG1 is a health drink that optimizes your nutrition with all of your essential vitamins, your minerals, you name it, and whole food sourced ingredients. It's everything in one, which makes this product so unique. You know, you have all these supplements all the time. There's always this new health product. This is just one simple step. You just take a scoop of this, add it with eight ounces of water, and you get it all just in that one scoop. Helps with my skin my beauty my nails my hair which is something that i've been struggling with because of postpartum hair loss but it just has everything in one when you take this like you can definitely tell on your body that it's just like feeding it also helps your body's natural detoxifying process it's an all-around great product i've been using it for years now i got z on it i've gotten so many people on it i actually got my um nutritionist on it she was a holistic doctor and she was like this is it she read all the ingredients and i was like shocked at how much she loved it she used my code and everything Thing. It's just such a powerful scoop. If you guys go to athleticgreens.com slash Renee Amberg, they're giving you guys a free year supply of their vitamin D3 plus K2 drops and then five free travel packs. They have a 90 day money back guarantee. They know that you guys will like it too. So if you are, you know, a little hesitant, keep that in mind. I will leave the link down below for you guys. I thought I would give you guys an update on the house. So we had looked at two homes. One of them was more ideal and realistic than the other one we liked more than the other. We ended up putting an offer on that house and it did not get accepted. So what I'm having a hard time with is if you guys know the housing market right now in Florida it is ridiculous it's been ridiculous for about a year now the homes are so overpriced a lot of people are making like full cash offers like even over asking they literally will hit the market as pending like they go so fast especially in the areas that we're looking at and I'm trying to figure out like what would be ideal for us because right now we're spending so much money on this you know luxury apartment that you know after having a baby your priorities definitely shift and i just feel like it's not the place to be right now but the problem is like the homes are so overpriced that i feel like i would be paying more than what the house is worth should we sacrifice and like downsize for a year but then we're just throwing away money on rent again you know do we buy the home now do we continue looking because all the homes that i'm finding i like a lot but they're not worth what I see. So it's like this weird struggle. Our lease is up in August here. So I'm gonna continue looking. If there's something that hap like comes up, we'll make a move. But I'm not like actively searching, if that makes sense. If it doesn't happen, I think we're gonna most likely downsize for a year or two, feel out the new area, then come to a decision whether or not we're gonna buy a home. The last thing I wanna do is just buy a home and then live in a home and be like house poor you spend all your money on like down payments and the cash of the home and then you have nothing like left but i do want to get out of the city i'm just like getting pulled to do that these are the best gluten-free english muffins they're to die for they like hold butter really well, if that makes sense. You guys probably think it's the morning and that it's Tuesday, but it's actually Wednesday and it's 4 p.m. I cannot get anything done. I've been having like a pity party. Every other day is a different day emotionally for me. And that's just the stage of my life that I'm in right now. I'm struggling. Like I mentally am like going a little crazy being like stuck in this house all day, not having the freedom to do things because I have Bryson. I'm not complaining. I'm really not. I'm just cooped up driving myself crazy so the past day and a half or two days if you technically count today i've just been an emotional roller coaster and then guess what i'm gonna be fine tomorrow and then i'm gonna have another emotional roller coaster I'm like that's just how i think motherhood is the term maintenance just look it up if you're a mom like especially a first time mom it is insane i don't know myself i feel like a psycho and i feel crazy half the time simply put my life is just not that interesting right now it's really not that interesting
I'm home the majority of the day, taking care of an infant slash newborn. My mind is so all over the place. Is this normal? Am I normal? Anyways, Xander should be getting off work soon. And this one is finally sleeping. I throw on this. It's called Moving Art. Literally just like a moving screensaver. And they have all these different places in the world that you can choose from. And they're such like beautiful videography. This has been a game changer. This is a white noise machine. I just turn this on while he's sleeping. That way, if I make any noise, he won't wake up. Welcome home. This smells... Oh my god. Bobby. Hey, dude. It's okay, my mama. Is that your Cosmo? Hi, you agree? Mama. What's that? I am proof that God answers prayers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why are we watching The Pacifier? Why? Because of the dad? He you goes, it's a movie about the dad. <laughs> mm. Bryce already has his dinner. Say, dar. 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 Mama. Mama. Mommy loves you. Yes, I do. Seven There he is. Where's my water? That I asked for. Where's my water? That I asked for. There it is. <laughs> Can you get me a water? <laughs> this time I asked Renee to get me a water. Ooh. Challenge. It takes so long to fill up a glass of water in this house. Oh, this is gonna be the best tasting glass of water I have ever had. There's like cheese and olive oil and pepper that needs to be mixed up. Mama? Mommy. Mama, mommy. Mama, mommy. All right, guys. I've decided to quit. I, like, I can't film anymore. I don't know how to, like, express myself verbally of, like, how I'm feeling. There's a lot that I have been dealing with. There's just constantly so much stuff going on in our lives right now that I don't really talk about that I'm trying to like push past. Nova has been really sick. She's been having these lesions that are popping up all over her skin. We've tried literally everything. We've spent I feel like over $10,000 at this point. Vets are confused. She has a dermatologist who's confused. We spent tons of money on biopsy results that came back as weirdly enough like a type of lymphoma or a food allergy, which was confusing to me because the whole point of spending all the money on the biopsy was to get results, but they told us there's no guarantee for results. So she's on a steroid treatment right now, but basically these lesions are popping up all over her body. She's itching like crazy. There's blood all over her apartment. It's very annoying to deal with, but sad to watch her go through, especially when we don't have answers and nothing's really kind of working. It's just extremely, extremely, disheartening to watch it's just this added pressure that has been added to our plate i'm at this point where i'm like i don't know what else to do we've tried everything she's been constantly having gi issues all over the house because of all these medications she's on we've tried diets we've tried shampoos and all this stuff and i don't know what to do there's no answer and it's extremely frustrating to have to deal with we're at the bed probably like every week sometimes twice a week dealing with this stuff paying for these bills on top of that i'm getting billed for hospital visits and you know all these things that happened in the hospital with me and bryson they're just constantly coming in and like every day there's a new bill i'm not able to really work like i'm trying to work but i'm having this like conflict with myself because first of all there's like i'm not inspired to film anything i feel like everything i'm filming is not like worth anything i feel like all i'm doing is bitching i'm just in the house all day i'm just at that point where like nothing right now is like making me happy i don't have the motivation or drive to go work out my health has been thrown to the back burner my mental health has been thrown to the back burner this new life that i'm trying to adjust us to Sanders at work a lot and I have him the majority of the time which is a stressor on its own and it's very frustrating with the fact that I don't have a maternity leave I'm not getting paid I had time off when I was in the hospital on bed rest dealing with a Nikki baby that almost died that trauma that I have yet to freaking even overcome and I'm like thrown back into work on top of that I have all these brand deals that I had 
constantly pushed off because i was in the hospital that are just up my ass trying to get me to do things edits even though i follow the contract verbatim i'm dealing with people who are not doing their job correctly it's like if you give me a contract and I do it verbatim and then you tell me to add X, Y, and Z in it, I have to go back and re-edit, which is already a tough thing because I'm a stay-at-home mom basically during the day, dealing with an infant and all this insurance stuff and all these Nova issues and these car accidents that we've been through, which is a whole freaking other story in itself. I don't even have time to edit. So when I even get a video out, I like make it sure, make sure that it's verbatim and these brandos want to take control of my content. Have me send them layouts like by minute, they change things in my video. It's just they're they're taking advantage of my channel and my content for their brand, which I understand is part of the brand deal, but there's a way to integrate a brand and the brands that I work with and the one that I'm working with on this video, by the way, has been nothing but amazing to me. The majority of them, I have already signed contracts with them and I you know need the money to keep up with this luxury lifestyle that I get like no joy out of honestly anymore. It doesn't bring me happiness or peace. I think there's more important things in life and when I'm trying to come back with the added pressure of all of these obligations for other people that I don't even really want to do drives me nuts. I'm losing subscribers because all I'm doing is brand deals but I can't even get a video out to begin with so when I get a video out I need to get these brand deals out because I have contracts and blah blah blah. Like it's just this ongoing vicious cycle. I'm just not in the proper headspace I'm dealing with so much. Like I've spent I want to say like this is so dramatic but I want to say a year dealing with insurance stuff car accidents health insurance stuff i've literally paid over a certain amount of money that i was supposed to get i don't know what it's called like when the insurance goes through and it's like it kicks in they billed me improperly i paid a huge chunk of money at the beginning of the year end of the last year that i still have not gotten refunded for because i'm playing the middle middleman for the hospital the insurance policy and then the hospital's financial manager. It, it's just like I'm spending hours on the phone dealing with these people. I'm spending countless hours answering to somebody about things on my channel that I'm trying to make genuine content and they're just kind of totally walking all over. Constantly gone from the home because of Nova and Xander's like not 100% at work because he's constantly down here trying to help and we're both kind of just like getting stir crazy and not able to do our jobs fully 100% but still not be able to be home and do 100%. On top of that, my ex has been freaking stalking me. That's a whole nother thing. I can't go outside without fearing. I'm just overwhelmed. Like I'm literally overwhelmed. On top of all these annoying things like insurance claims, ex issues, a sick dog, bills and stuff coming in, the pressure to even buy a house. That's like another thing I really want to get out of here and like stop renting, but the housing market is just insane right now, but that's beyond my control. I can't do anything about that. Not having a car right now. We didn't have a car when we were in the NICU at some point because we were, Xander was in a car accident. Like all this stuff I'm dealing with on top of dealing with a crying baby in the back. Like he didn't sleep at all last night. I don't know what the deal was, but sometimes he just has days where he's just a little more needy than usual. And I want to be able to be there for him. And I don't have time to do anything. All this stuff, if I didn't even have a baby or a sick dog or any of that stuff, would be so time consuming. Now, add the sick dog, add a baby, add car accidents, add like the constant pressure to create content for a living to sustain my lifestyle and the pressure of like losing views, losing subscribers, change of algorithm and change of content that's out there right now. And the pressure of that on top of everything. An ex stalking you. Like, I, that's on the very last part of my list. And I would love, love nothing more than to go work out for like 30 minutes a day. And I can't, I don't, even when I have time to do that, I don't want to. I'm just exhausted. I'm exhausted. I don't want to take a break. I feel like I take breaks all the time now. Is it even worth taking a break? Do people even care anymore? Probably not. I don't know which way my content is going. I'm trying to experiment with that. Like right now, I don't even want to get out of my PJs. Like I just want to lay down with Xander and my baby and just breathe. But we can't do that because we have ongoing issues that are going on and it's just extremely hard. It's really hard. I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do and I feel bad ending the vlog like this but I'm just being honest with you guys I'm sick of like putting on this fake smile and acting like everything's okay when I'm really freaking stressed I'm in a season of life that's just like very frustrating it's like one of us is always sick I was sick then Xander got in the accident then Bryson was in the hospital now Nova's sick it's like we can't catch a freaking break is this life I don't know 
sometimes I just want to like a change like when I'm in stages like this in my life I just really crave a big drastic change and I can feel one coming and I just don't know what that is yet <sighs> okay I got it off my chest I try to do a week in my life I have all these really great ideas guys for videos and stuff I just can't seem to like implement them or even get myself to be motivated to implement them but I just want to continue pushing I don't know if I'm taking a break I don't know you know I've already gotten off Instagram because that consuming in itself um do I want to get rid of my job sometimes I like stop filming and stuff to think like oh I'm gonna focus on myself and take a break but then I get even more agitated because this is like my creative outlet this is where I get joy from it's my community and I love doing it so sometimes when that goes away i feel almost more empty i keep telling myself i'm just gonna do things and not put pressure to do them and i think that's just where i'm at right now so if i don't come back for a while that's why if i do come back with a whole threshold of videos that's why if i don't come back at all that's why so <sighs> i feel good honestly i know that that was probably a lot but <sighs> it's like a weight off my sh chest just not trying to dump it on you guys i'm just documenting my life at this point because i love looking back at memories like this and seeing what god can do when you're in a state of mind and to remember these states when you're in a season like this i feel like the most connected to you guys oddly when i'm in a state like this because i feel like you guys are more my friends than people who like watch my life i know that sounds like really weird but i know that a lot of you guys are very invested in my life and i hope that it can you know touch you in a way like I, maybe one of you had a nikki baby one of you guys lost your dad one of you guys were isolated during 2020 or was a girl in real estate trying to make a youtube channel back in the day like all these seasons of my life i hope that will touch somebody or be able to make someone feel less alone so yeah i love you guys i'm sorry i have to end it like this but <sighs> i just need a break breath breath <laughs> i need a breath and i need a break and i just need like everything to just be taken care of so that I can focus back on myself because right now there's just so much external stressors and I just feel like I can't get anything done until these are taken care of which is a little bit more frustrating but all right I love you guys